good evening. Just a wrap up of the council meeting as there was no uh, work session this afternoon. Uh, the council meeting for the city of Grand Rapids uh, for May 23rd, 2016. Very short actual council meeting. We did have a fairly extensive public hearing this evening. So some of the big things on the council was just uh, start to staff up in summer use in some of the departments. Uh, Marsha Anderson gave a department head report on the library. Uh, once again, it's full of a lot of detail and a lot of numbers out there, the number of visitors and the impact that the library has on the community. Uh, Dale Anderson was in on the park and rec side looking at into entering into an agreement to lease out some space and an old Zamboni room and getting that uh, room uh, remodeled to do some training uh, with Great Western property. So that was passed as well. Uh, we're going to post for the one position. Uh, we've had a, a staff person at the library that is retired, so we did authorize Marsha and the library group to start looking to fill that position. We had a public hearing this afternoon looking at some text changes and some wording changes around four sections of Article 6, the zoning within Chapter 30 of the Land Development Regulations. So with the changes, uh, the first three sections were uh, non-controversial. Uh, the fourth section as it relates to rumors that could come into a private home uh, looking at uh, duration of how long someone could be in someone else's home on the rooming side. As you recall, over the past uh, few months, we've been talking as a council about outcomes that we are trying to strive to meet for 2016. One of them is to look for opportunities to fill shoulder months at our, at our uh, rental properties, so your motels and hotels. How can we support the businesses in making sure that there are opportunities or events that are in our community that would help fill those rooms uh, during those shoulder months that would, would help them from a business and an economic standpoint. Um, on a three to one vote uh, with it passing uh, for right now, uh, the reason that I voted no is uh, my understanding from the advice of our city attorney is if we're going to allow people uh, less than 30 days. If it's 30 days or longer, I'm certainly comfortable with that. Uh, renting out and having a rumor in, they can't cook and stuff in that room, but they could be there for 30 days and longer. My issue is if we allow it to go forward with less than 30 days, what's to stop someone in house on First Avenue or Second Avenue, someplace in Grand Rapids. Uh, we've got the car show, we've got tall timber days, we've got the swap meet. You name the event that we have, and we have multiple and a lot of events that we're trying to encourage in the city of Grand Rapids that now I can go out and I could rent for that weekend and just rent out to six rumors for that weekend. Now we're, in my mind at least, we're defeating what we've asked uh, and we have wanted to do as a council that would promote uh, people coming into town that's going to fill up those motels and hotels. So my no vote was not that I'm against um, the text amendment change. My vote is that even though we are going to long term look at going into revising that and putting a renter's uh, agreement in there, this could take another six to nine months. I felt that in that six to nine month interim, I was willing to live with the number in there that if it's less than 30 days, it, it did not apply. They could not do it if it was less than 30 days. And it would eliminate that uh, two days on a weekend during a special event that somebody hangs a sign out there and now is in competition with our motels and hotels. So. As in anything else, we all have a right to an opinion, and this council is is uh, good at working around that. Um, in this case, my my opinion didn't didn't uh, carry enough weight, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes it doesn't change the fact that we, as a council, will work diligently with city staff and with some others to try and put in place a renter's agreement as quickly as we can that will address that short-term issue. So with that, have a good evening and we'll see everyone in two weeks. Take care.